Who remembers being little and having something go wrong and you have that moment where you no longer believe that magic is real? We've all had that moment, haven't we? Well, today I'm about to restore the faith. I'm about to bring you a new belief in magic because it's no ordinary Zach from Switch for us today. It is magic, 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 magic Zach, ready to show you something out of this world. I'm about to blow your minds in Animal Crossing. So buckle up, hit that like button if you're excited and ready to go, having fun with AC with me. Let me know in the comments down below what your reaction is. When you see this glitch I'm about to show you that is going to allow us to swim, soar, and explore. I wanna know your reaction. Did you know about it already? Were you blown away? Do you wanna try it yourself? I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it happen and exactly what is going on, how we get out to sea, how we go to level four. It is crazy, it is wild. I'm so freaking pumped. This is one of the coolest videos. So welcome new subscribers. You have stumbled upon something truly wonderful. We're about to do magic in ACNH and I cannot wait to show you. So roll that tape. So to make this happen, we need two items and one friend. I feel like that should be achievable for most of us. Now the items aren't any ordinary item. We need a bench of sorts. I'm gonna use the outdoor bench and we're gonna take the bench and push it all the way to the river's edge. The very edge, not tipping in, but almost there. And from there, we're going to pull it back one square, like so. Then you need something to hold on to, something to grab, and something to really, I guess, ground you to this non-magical dimension as we travel into a twilight zone that very few have ever experienced. Now, I'm going to use the ACNH switch because it is a magical item. It is rare. It is awesome. And I want to hold on to this thing. If I learned anything from Wizard of Oz, it's that you better hold on tight when the winds of change start coming and we're trying to transition to another plane, another dimension. So I'm gonna hold this thing until my friend arrives. I need to have a dodo code. I need to get someone coming over, but I gotta keep this button depressed so that I can impress all of you. Hurry, hurry, before the sun sets, the magic expires, it all will reset. My thumb is starting to feel some worry. So friend, please arrive. La, 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 la. Rhymes are hard. Our assistant has arrived to cast the spell. Did it work? Time will tell. Just like that, we have phase shifted through the table into an otherworldly dimension, become a ghost of the Twilight Zone here in AC, and wait till I show you what is possible. I'll wait for my assistant to arrive. Hello, good sir. Thank you for being here to make this magic happen. And now, let me journey into the river and swim with the fishies. I am going to be sopping wet, soaked to the brim. But I will sacrifice pruny fingers and pruny toes for you guys to see something truly awesome. We are now in another dimension, another location. I'm gonna take you to the ocean where it gets even wilder. Oh no, I can't go past the bridge. Okay, well, let's just see what we can do in here. Uh, I don't think we can place anything, but I'm gonna try. Oh, the company's over, so we have to wait for him. Yes, please leave, please leave, hold on. Okay, now let's give this a go. Can we layer the mammoth skull? There's no room. What about something smaller? Can we drop an orange? Oh, we can't. They won't let us put anything. The real question is, we are swimming with the fishies. We can hold our golden rod, but can we fish the fishies straight out of here, or is that taboo? Now that we are... On the uh, dimension of the fish, okay, we can't even cast. I did scare that guy. A big hulking Godzilla monster is alert. Oh, hey! Yeah, I, I, don't, I can't even cast. It won't let me cast anything. So there's not much you can do except explore the ocean. So let's, uh, let's get to a place where I can actually pass through the bridge. I don't even believe you can climb out of here. I think once you're in here, it's pretty freaking sweet, isn't it? But once you're in here, Twilight Zone style, you're going to have to reset the game. But wait till I take you to the ocean. You thought this was cool. Here we go. All right, we're set up by an ocean outlet so we can really explore and go as far as we possibly can out there. Are there other islands? Can you go infinitely? Is it stopped short? What will we see? Do you believe in magic? Well, now you should because I'm doing things out of this world in Animal Crossing. I didn't know any of this was possible until today. 
but it's pretty freaking fun. I am thoroughly enjoying this and I hope you are as well. I'm just waiting for my assistant to come to complete the trick so I can take you guys. There we go. Phasing through into the ocean Aquaman style. Everybody put your hands together for the assistant that makes this magic possible. Arriving on the scene in three, two, hello, SAS, whoa, you're ready for it? And boom, into the river we go, skidding around, what's up, dude? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty freaking gleeful, isn't it? Actually, it's kind of funny, if I'm honest with you, the fact that we can waltz into the water, the mysterious beyond. I'd like to grab this bottle, but once you're in here, you can't do nothing and unfortunately I cannot dump my wood into the ocean I cannot fish but I can hold the rod so if we want to pretend like we're gonna spook all the little sea critters we can now something I find interesting here is most likely when diving is added to the game it's gonna be by the shores but look at like the stuff under the water almost like sandbars see them over here like they're like little rocks underneath or mountains or sandbars or Deep caves. I don't know if they ever utilize any of this, but it's interesting that they put it out there. Very interesting. We can make a huge lap around our island. Unfortunately, the barrier is it's pretty far out there. Like I can't see my island at all, obviously, and it's kind of a it's kind of a peaceful view. We're floating, swimming, just sea surfing. But uh, you can't get that far. So I'm kind of afraid that Captain is gonna come and fetch me out of the ocean, Lakitu style, so we best be quick, but I wanna take you to the secret beach. Let's be red. I mean, we're kinda gonna have to be green because we're looking more green than red, but let's be red. He pulls up like he owns the place, but in reality, this is our island. Peach Reef is our place. So, I gotta see what it's like to be red. Again, big thanks. To the people that help make this possible. You gotta have friends, and I got them thanks to Switch Strong. It's our awesome Discord server. If you haven't seen it, check out the link in the description down below. It's a wonderful place to find people to help you do this, or trade villagers, or talk AC, or hang out with me, so check that link in the description below. It's a wonderful, safe, positive, awesome place, so check it out if you feel like that's up your alley. We cannot enter the secret beach like Red, but we can dock here, and I'll continue around this wonderful 360 of magical proportions. Um, there's one other thing that's really, really fun and really neat. There's these islands off in the distance, which I can only assume are the mystery islands kind of lurking out there, even though it's uncharted every time Wilbur revs the engines. Um, I imagine that's what those are supposed to represent. But yeah, you hit the boundary pretty quickly. It's not as far as I would have expected. I mean, I didn't expect any of this, frankly. But I think the ocean floor tour is the... Uh, the coolest tour, especially because, well, you can't get out, but especially because as we circle the beach here, we can show up right by Dodo Airlines' little spot where they like to dock their seaplane and say hello to the seaplane. Did you ever think we'd get down here? Did you ever think we'd be at this spot in the game? It's pretty freaking awesome. Look at this plane. We can clean it for them. You know, do a little favor for Wilbur and Orville since they're always doing us favors. You know, I did make him blush a lot of times, but cleaning clean the seaplane feels like feels like it's the respectful thing to do. Now, I wish you could go under the dock, but sadly you can't. And as I mentioned, there is no way to escape the confines of water. Now, I'm going to show you guys one more awesome magic trick. And instead of going to the depths, we're going to go to the heights. You know that fourth level of the island that the cliffs say you can't quite climb? I got news for you, cliffs. Magic beats everything. So you see the fourth layer of cliffs, you know it's unreachable. When you try to climb from this spot, the game says it's dangerous to climb any higher, but I don't like that. I've been feeling brave. I think I can boost myself up. It's not that much higher. So once again, we're gonna rely on our trusty two items, the bench and the ACNH switch. Now you'll notice that I'm actually behind me. This footage glitched out and I wasn't having it. So I'm recording over it, right after it, because my audio got goofy, and there's two of me. So, whoa, it's like Ghost Zack and Real Zack. I felt like it was perfect. Did you know my other magic trick is that I duplicated myself? Can you believe it? Anyhow, we're going to place this bench right here. You push it right up against the cliffside, just like we did before. And once it goes as far as you can go, you pull it back one spot. I don't know why it needs to be done in this specific way. Frankly, I don't even know why a friend is what activates it. 
it's something about like how you're holding onto the object and sitting there and then the friend comes over and it somehow just confuses the game. How they found these specific items or this specific technique, I do not know. But it's magic. We don't question it. We just roll with it. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to sit on my pretty bench and I'm going to wait for my assistant to return. And then we're going to put something up there so we can forever remember this day. Boom. My friend is here. He's going to have to come find me. This is where I really wish we could see on the map. Who's who, where's where, wouldn't it be easy and lovely. It's amazing also how like my doppelganger is operating behind me. Ooh, mysterious. All right. Spidey sense, I gotta, I gotta get up here. How am I gonna make this happen? Now this one is nice because you can escape from this. So you won't need to save out to escape from like you did with the water. You can just climb down, which is pretty nifty. And I'm trying to figure out what to put up there. I really want to put Godzilla. I think that would be menacing and amazing. I don't know if Godzilla is going to fit. I don't know if we created enough cliff space for a hulking monster. So I'm hopeful once SAS arrives, we can boost our way up and drop this monster. Hey, there he is. I'm up here. Hello. Come and find me. Climb, climb, climb. Yes, that's the secret beach. No, red isn't there. When is red ever there? Am I right? When is red ever there anymore? Hello, SAS. What do you think of this magic? Are you ready? Boom. I have ascended, and we have sunk, and now we have soared, and I'm going to have to put some stuff down. You're going to have to leave so that I can put it down. That's the rules of this game. Another thing I wish could be different, but I'm going to try and make Godzilla work. Okay, can we do it? No, it's too small. Oh, I do have a cool toy centipede that'll be fun to put up here. But I'm so bummed. I thought if I stood in the corner, I thought it'd be enough for Godzilla. His booty too big. He's not gonna fit, which is a bummer. Sun's about to set. The magic is about to expire. So I think we'll just have to go with the toy centipede. It's. I think the toy centipede is cool. I got it from Flick. Pretty darn nifty. That will mark the day. It's not very exciting, though. Godzilla can't go anywhere. It's so lame. So lame. Yeah, it's not. He's not gonna fit. You know what we should do? Let's actually do this. Let's commemorate this spot with something not Godzilla, but maybe better than the toy centipede. Let's plant a tree. Godzilla will not fit, so let's plant a tree. An orange tree up here to mark the day and say, hey, hey, no one can ever touch it or gather its fruits. It will sit there and sour till the end of time. Because once I step down, I can never go back up. You will never be allowed to reach these heights until they release the verticality patch, which probably won't exist. It's dangerous to climb any higher. We cannot get there. But those are my magic tricks. I hope you guys had fun with them. I think it is so freaking cool. I'm curious if you guys are going to try it out for yourself. If you do and you do anything cool, send me a screenshot on Discord. Switch strong. There's a link in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see what you guys do. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you were amazed by this. Smash that like button if you had fun and enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for being here. New subscribers, old subscribers. I love you all. Stay safe and stay healthy out there, all right? Be smart. Be good. Thanks so much for your support. I love you all a lot. I'll see you guys on the next upload. This was our day where we got to be magic, magic, magic. And even if we're not magical ever again, I lost a bridge, and that really sucks because I had to open a water outlet. But I know that our bond will forever be special. So I'll see you guys in the next upload. Until that time, thanks again, everybody. Switch Force, out.